Hey, hey, Instagram. What's up? Happy Monday to you. Come on in and say hello. I know it has been a couple of days since I have been here doing my 10 a.m. Pacific Live. But come on in and say hello. So good to see everyone here. Come on in, come on in. After in America, what was a holiday weekend? Who's here to say hello? Hey, Margarita, nice to see you. Hi, Lori. Uh, Trish, oh, thank you. I'm glad you're enjoying the book. Hey, Daisy, welcome everyone. Come on in. Ness, is it Nessie? Thank you. I'm so glad you are enjoying the book. All righty, all righty. Well, obviously, Glenn and I made it back from our motorcycle trip and it was really fun. It was, um, it was so good to be out on the open road. It was great to, uh, we got to see some people that we haven't seen in a while, um, some friends and some family in Boise, and then um, had a little stop off wedding anniversary in Vegas. Um, and you know, it was, we practiced social distancing while we were there. We went into a few places where it, uh, it that that definitely was not the case. So we we did not stay and did not go back. And then I noticed was well, so we came back yesterday and just kind of hung out and unpacked and you know felt good to be home. And we've given our team the day off today, um, so it's been like a four day. They had Friday and Monday off today, so it almost feels like it's Sunday right now because. I don't know, it's just a different vibe. I worked out with my trainer this morning, virtually. And, you know, I think that I I was surprised to feel, like, bummed out this morning when I woke up. And it's weird, because it's, like, blue skies, and it's warm weather, and I'm at home, and with my baby, and I just had this great trip. And I think that I just, I realized... You know, being out on the road, it's kind of fun and it's a nice, like, escape of sorts. Um, but I just, I think I just noticed some sadness that I was feeling about the state of our world and the condition of things. And and it's going to take longer time to heal. And, um, and I really realized that I have a choice, you know. And so I don't know how this is going for all of you if you've had to manage your emotions during this time or like have gone through little waves of depression or anxiety or um i'm not sure what it is there's been so much of the time where i've just like forged on like i'm a capricorn it's you know create your own reality and and we've done that really beautifully um we've pivoted we moved the book tour to virtual we've done things that we weren't planning on doing things that we've never done before challenges etc have like so many amazing new women and new programs like it's really there's so much to be grateful for and i i honor that and i acknowledge that and oh date so and so then part of me was like gina what like what do you, what do you have to be depressed about and i don't know if depressed is the right word but it was like it was more like that and i just i i realized that um you know, there's really big circumstances going on in the world and there's people that have had really, really big or devastating experiences or even experienced um, death of loved ones. So, you know, I'm, I'm not here to, in any way to compare as much as I just realized that I have a choice and I have a choice to just kind of distract myself and do business as usual and ignore how I feel, which is not what I'm doing. Um, I have a choice to just... Um, fall into a funk, which is also not what I'm doing. And I've made the choice to create new forms of joy and create new forms of happiness because I think that so often people ask me like, how do you keep going and how are you always so motivated? And I'm, I've given myself permission to be fueled by my desires. So much of my desires are about being social as an extra extrovert and traveling. So a lot of those desires got, and, and live events, like, so a lot of those desires have been, I'm not going to say taken away, but put on a major pause. So it's like, okay, got creative with the motorcycle trip. And, um, anyways, I just 
felt myself like, all right, Gina, get some cookbooks out and maybe have somebody, another couple over tonight and have on the deck and, you know, use, like focus on what you can do and focus on what would be joyful and focus on what, because my temptation could be to go into divine working, but I do remind myself it is divine living. Um, and I don't need to work today, so why don't I create something joyful? So that is, um, I've pulled out my cookbooks here, some of my new ones. There's another one over here as well. Um, and so I think I'm gonna find some new recipes and not focus on how hard it is to get ingredients, but focus on what I can get and uh, call some people and see if they're up for a spontaneous Monday night dinner out back and like really, uh, you know, taking the time and space today just to like, while the office sort of shut down to journal and, and just be, um, but be in high vibration about it um, and not be like bummed out or envious of people who are on beaches in Europe because it is all happening for us, not to us. Isn't that right? For those of us that have read the book. So I'm choosing to create joy, but I just wanted to let you know that um, sometimes it really is a choice for me also that I have, I am a pretty upbeat person and I've been surprised of the sort of the different waves of emotions that have come in over these past few months. Um, and you know, they, they kind of like hit me unexpectedly. Like I didn't see it coming. I, I was like so excited to be home yesterday and had this great trip and then just kind of woke up with it. So I'm, I choose to let myself feel what is coming up and choose to, to let it guide me, but making sure that I'm in tune with these feelings and then using it as an opportunity to up level always. So that's, that's the, the status here at divine living. But here, let me, it's one thing that does bring me joy is this patio out here. It's like, I, I can't not be, hold on, like this greenery, my new little garden chairs. Let me see if we can go see the ocean. Hold on. We'll turn this around. Cause there we go. You know, it's it's one of the things that brings me joy. So I'm focusing on what is joyful today and want you to do the same. And I will be back with you soon. I don't tomorrow might be a coaching day, so I don't know when I'm back on Instagram. But you know I will be here uh, as m much as I can at 10 a.m. Pacific, at least through July. I'm, I'm thinking about taking August off, but at least through July I will be here. Mwah. Lots of love from Los Angeles.